Today we're going to look at continuing to write our letter about the day we had at Grandpa's. Yesterday we got to the point in the story just before the zoo monkeys appeared at about two minutes and eight seconds and today we'll be writing about the escape zoo monkeys up to the point just before the aliens arrive and that's at about three minutes and 36 seconds. So that was our little bit that we wrote yesterday. And this is where we pick up from. So here is my example. Suddenly, everything changed. We were no longer in Grandpa's street. I was surrounded by rainforest and I could hear screeching monkeys and squawking parrots amongst the trees. I could see monkeys with shining red eyes hanging menacingly from branches. Grandpa told me they had escaped from the zoo. They started to chase us and we had to run fast. They were right on our tail. Luckily, the cart was no match for the monkeys. We raced ahead. We were getting away. You will never guess how we made our escape. Our cart changed into a boat and we landed on a river. I still don't know how it happened. We had got away from the crazed monkeys, but we still weren't safe. Large, hungry, green cat crocodiles were snapping at our sides. As the rickety old fishing boat approached the horizon, I sensed that we were in for a ride. It was a long way down the gushing waterfall to the warm blue lagoon at the bottom, but with Grandpa by my side, I knew it would be nothing but fun. The boat began to tip. My eyes widened. I held my breath. The stern teetered on the edge before tumbling downwards. Whoosh! It was as though we were flying inside a canopy of water. Bubbles splashed my skin. Grandpa bellowed with laughter. I covered my eyes. Grandpa knew exactly what to do. As the water crashed down behind me, he flew us to safety. The boat became a plane. I couldn't believe my eyes, but I could feel the wind rushing through my hair and feel my stomach flipping as we looped the loop through the fluffy white clouds. It was exhilarating. As the engine started to splutter, we jumped from the plane, releasing our billowing parachutes and floating gently to the ground below. It had been awesome. I wondered what the next part of the adventure would bring, and I didn't have to wait long to find out. So the stamps will be the same as the ones you were trying to collect yesterday, because you're still describing your day, and we still want you to do those things you were doing yesterday. So the first stamp is for writing in the first person. I, we, me. The second stamp you can earn for using the past tense because these are events that have already happened. For example, using the word sat instead of sit. The third stamp you can earn is for scene setting. So what does that jungle look like or feel like? What are the other characters doing? The fourth stamp is for adding the detail. How do you feel? What do you see when you're looking? And remember, you can add a bonus stamp for writing in a chatty, informal style, showing the reader that you can talk directly to them, asking them questions, telling them how you feel. For example, I said, you will never guess how we made our escape. It is like you're talking to a friend. Now it is your turn. Have a go at writing up the part just before the aliens arrive, up to about three minutes and 35 seconds, thinking about earning those stamps and describing beautifully those things that are happening to your friend. You may want to watch the clip just from two minutes, eight seconds, right the way through to three minutes, 35, just to remind yourself of what happened. And as you write, you might want to look back at my example, reminding yourself of the stamps. Remember to use the word maps and your action tracks and any other writing that might help you. So well done, come back tomorrow when we'll continue writing about our exciting day at Grandpa's.